Hello guys, this is Jamie. I want to welcome you to another one of my wonderful videos and I hope everyone is doing well, staying safe. And just as a disclaimer, this is an adult coloring channel. This is not intended for children. So I was tagged by the influenced colorist to do the five things I would take in quarantine tag. And I will show you guys those five things and yeah it was a little hard deciding because I have so many different things and I'm a mixed media type of girl so it was a little tricky but um, yeah and I would like to tag anybody that hasn't done this um, video I know that a lot of people that I watch have already done this video but if you have a coloring channel and you have not done this tag Feel free to do this tag, we'd love to see, and it's fun to see what different kind of supplies other people have. So the first thing I would take is this case right here. Um, this case houses all of my Black Widow pencils. And only has one zipper. So there's all my skin tones, the ones on this side are my Black Widow, these are the Scorpion, no, the Cobra, these are the Cobras, and then I have on this side is my Scorpion, my Scorpion continues because I actually have two sets of Scorpion because it's my favorite, and I'm going to kind of cheat because all my Pentel gel pens, so Sparkle Pop, Milky Pop, Solar Pop, they're all in here. So I'm going to kind of cheat because if I figured I was taking the Black Widow pencils, I'd be taking this case and so I would have these gel pens with me too. So yeah, you can see that I have used them a lot. I actually really enjoy the Black Widow pencils a lot only downfall to me I like these ones because they show the color on the tip but I wish the other ones had colorful bottoms too the next thing I would take into quarantine are my Prismacolor water soluble colored pencils I haven't used these much that's why I would take them into quarantine but they are um, watercolor pencil. This is the 24 set. And they're not as good as like a Derwent Ink Tense. But I really like how smooth the barrel is on these. And they're thin, thinner like a, like a regular Prismacolor pencil. And you can see the cores are pretty thick. So, yeah. Definitely would want to take some watercolor pencils with me and I like how easy this is a nice little easy tin I could pack up in a quick bag if I needed to The next thing Those are my two Next thing I would take are my Parku alcohol markers and the reason why I chose these ones is because they're actually one of the only ones I have in a case. So I like like my Cali Arts, I love my Cali Arts, and I love all my different like random ones, but I actually have them in a holder on my desk. So going into quarantine, I probably wouldn't be able to take that whole setup off my desk. So I would definitely need some alcohol markers. So I would choose the Parku. I have done the color chart that it comes with. Uh, I forgot to do 166. That one is no good so but the other ones are all good and there are those beauties and it has a chisel tip and a fine tip on them next thing I would take is this little box that my daughter so kindly decorated for me it is full of my washi tape I have sparkle washi tape metallic washi tape flat plain 
just a random assortment of washi tape because I do like to use them in my coloring book pages. So I have tons of goodies of washi tape in here. And this like container was at the dollar store and then she picked some little gems and glued them on there. And the last thing I would take is this bin that I keep underneath my desk. It kind of has all my odds, ends of whatever type of thing. So I have a water brush in here. This is the Arteza water brush. This one is not the fine one. It's the medium or the next one up from the fine one. I have a black jelly roll, a white jelly roll. This is um, kind of like a, it's like a, what a razor blade or sorry, I can't even think in my head um, to cut the washi tape when I put it on my coloring book pages. This is plastic, but it is really sharp. Not sharp enough to cut you, but sharp enough to cut around those washi tape borders. So I got this on Amazon and it's called it's like slice by, uh, I can't read that, but if you look up slice cutter, you'll be able to find this. And it was fairly inexpensive. And then I have a Prismacolor that I've used to the stub, so it's in this extender. Hang on a second, guys. Turn that down, bud. <laughs> All right, I have glossy accents. I have my two stickles, I only have two. I have four of the Nauvoo shimmer powders. I have the cherry bomb, the solar flare, blue blitz and storm cloud. How these work is if your paper is slightly wet you can tap it like this on the paper. It does like an explosion on your paper. It's like bushel powders, kind of. Still trying to get familiar with them. Or you can use these, like, you can put some of this in a little pan with some water, and you could use it like watercolor. And they're kind of metallic-y. I have some more erasers. I have my electric erasers, or my electric eraser with the extra things inside here. Some paper clips, Q-tips, odorless mineral spirits is in this container, and my Derwent metal um, um, pencil sharpener. Right there. And I've had this pencil sharpener a long time and it hasn't gone dull yet. So I'm very impressed with this little pencil sharpener. But those are the five things I would take into quarantine and I would be all set for a long time. <laughs> I would be bummed if I ran out of stickles, but that is life. <laughs> so just throw those in. There we go. And this little, this box is actually the box of my Prismacolors came in. And I liked the box, the tin so much, I just used it for my stuff. So, yeah, that is my five things that I would take into quarantine. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions about any of the supplies, just leave a comment below and I can try to find a link for you. And you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks, guys.